Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Slime Film with Boomer. Uh, welcome to number 27. Sounds about well, right. Well, today we were looking into ways to make Slime Fun work for us now. Because we have a cobblestone generator, every time this fills up, I manually have to pull out the stack of cobble. Now it's nighttime, so it's not generating, but when it is daytime, I'd like this to kind of generate on its own and pull it out on its own. Now, normally I would set up network nodes and we're in a process of doing that because we're going to need hundreds of nodes for this entire base. However, we don't have the resources for that right now. So I went through the guide looking to find what other options are there for moving items automatically. And I came upon the storage and transport now, I've been trying to figure out which part of the plugin this is. If this is Infinity Storage, if this is Claytech, I haven't been able to find anything that identifies it. And I went online to the GitHub, and everybody's wiki has nothing there. I'm blown away by the lack of notes put up by the developers. So I, I can't even tell. I couldn't even find a video on YouTube on anything in these. So for the moment, and it really doesn't matter, all it matters is we figure out how to use them and we use them right. So we're gonna craft this, the output duck. This is the same thing as an output node, but it also works as an input node. In other words, it pulls the items out of where it is and it puts it where I want it. And it works very similar to the output nodes. You do have three items that you can configure. Now, if we're gonna use Ideally, I want to start using these storage units to get going. Ultimately, we're going to have hundreds of infinity storage units running, but short term, we're probably going to be somewhere around the basic level. Uh, maybe even a double chest for now, but eventually we're going to expand well beyond that. So we're going to make an output duct in order to make it. And actually, we're going to get two out of this, so it's kind of a benefit. We're going to need four uh, item ducts, two mag steel. A machine circuit and two hoppers right now in our storage area i've got the two mag steels set up and the machine circuit and i was just getting ready to craft the hoppers and i decided you know what let's bring you guys on board so to make the hoppers we're going to need two chests Voila. now we need to go get some iron going whoop excuse me you know i'm actually back on a new laptop my other one died. So I'm debating whether or not to keep using the mouse or not. I'm kind of used to not using it, but we'll see. So forgive me if things get a little iffy again. All right, there's our 10 iron. Look at that four karat gold in there. I got to do something with that. All right. One, two, three, four, five. There's our two hoppers. So we'll throw those in here. Now we just need the four item ducts. Whoops. So to make an item duct, this is pretty simple. Six glass, one redstone, one quartz, and one mag steel. And we're going to get four from that. Isn't that perfect how that recipe works? Uh, so we needed four, and we're going to have four let's put that in here whoops gotta click the dispenser six glass let's see if i remember it's this this and that right yeah there's our four item ducks let's grab our four items and into the dispenser we go You know, and this was pretty slick. Um, it runs, it pulls about a stack a second. The one thing I didn't like about the output ducts is when it's pulling items from somewhere, it like out of a chest, it only pulled the top row. And, and I was really going, what the heck? How come? And, and I don't even know who to report the bug to. However, the way this is going to work, we don't have to worry about that simply because there is no top row. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to import these items into, oops, into a double chest. Come on, Boomer, you know how to do this. Don't hold shift. So this, you can't just place this on the ground. It's got to be placed on the machine or on the item that's pulling the inventory out. So we're going to place it on the chest. The goal is to pull cobble from the chest in, or sorry, from the cobble generator to get it into the chest. So for the moment, I've got a stack of cobble. So let's explain how this works. You can whitelist up to three items. Okay. Now, my understanding is, is if you don't whitelist anything and you enable the blacklist, everything should go through. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit different setup than a couple of the other items on the slime fund. You can either enable or disable the blacklist. Well, all we want to do is whitelist cobble, and we want the blacklist disabled. By doing so, as cobble is produced, now you're seeing it, it's not storing up in there anymore. It's going directly into this chest, which means I can do other things and come back to it later, and I don't have to worry about it. No more pulling it out and waiting five minutes. I can grab 27 stacks at a time, head over to my grindstone, head over to the painter, head over to the ore washer. So while this is going, this gets me the materials I need to continue to build raw materials. Now I could actually take this another way. And believe it or not, if that one gets full, well, heck, you know what? Since we've got two of these set up, let's grab one piece of cobblestone. And let's go ahead and whitelist cobble. And it will also go in here. Uh, so actually, right now I have two. You'll see it's it has a way, obviously, which one it gets its choice first. Now, there are a couple things you need to know about these output ducts. It will tell you how many inventories are part of it and how far away you can draw items. So let's start with the length. It's saying 1 out of 12, meaning the chest is has to be within... 12 item ducks in whatever manner, shape, or form you carry it. So if you go straight on the X axis or the Y axis, I'm sorry, Z axis, and I would assume the Y axis as well, the chest could be up to 12 blocks away. And as long as it's within 12, that chest will continue to receive items. Once there's 12 blocks in between, it won't. So from the chest, to here is one. If I were to put item ducts, I could have put four white item ducts. Actually, I could probably put it in six, put it outside of the building, and it would have it would have gone in. If I would have gone white uh, item, 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 five, six, or actually no, it would have been, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, I'm not going to be physically six blocks away. I'm going through twelve items. So that's the thing you got to watch. Now, the other nice thing is up to eight different ways can pull. You can pull from up to eight different locations, eight different inventory supplies. So realistically, if I set eight of these up and had them all somehow tied to the chest, although I don't see how you could do eight off of one, the most you could get off of any one item side is six. If it's a double chest, then you could do two on top, two in the front, two in the back, two on the sides, two in the bottom. So then you could pull ten. But it's really pulling from one place. So unless you're filling a chest like this in a couple of seconds, it's not worth it. So we're still getting our cobble. So this will let me store up two dubs. I'm going to refer to a double chest from here on in as a dub. Uh, it'll fill up two double two dubs for me in a relatively short time. As long as power still on, it's still daylight. So that is the uh, output duct. And again, the item duct simply is a conduit between the item producing, in this case, the cobble, and the output duct. So I could go from the cobble generator to an item duct, to an item duct, to an item duct, to an output duct, to a storage item, such as a chest or a barrel, a shulker box, whatever you'd want it to be. Okay, and you see they're still going. So clearly the logic of the program is saying, hey, you know what? Um, those that are on the, wow, I'm backwards here looking at this. This is weird. 
So apparently it's pulling from the west before it is from the east. No big deal. This double chest will fill up first. Then it'll come back here and fill up that one. So until I need another item deck for something else. Now, if you've ever played with craft book, this is very similar to pipes. Uh, that's in a craft book plugin. The only thing with the pipes is you have to put a sign on the piston before the storage unit saying what's going in there. So in this case, I could whitelist three different items. If this generator were generating cobble, let's say stone and coal, I could add those items to the whitelist. And as long as it's not a barrel or one of those uh, storage items that we identified here, let's go back. So these storage units can only house one type of item. I can store 102,000 cobble, but only cobble or only stone or only coal or only, you know, any one particular item. The void can store 409,000 cobble or dirt or grass, but just that. If you try to put something else in behind it, it'll just sit there and block it from getting filled any further. So that's the downsides to the void storage, but they're those type of storages, but they're great if you're going to have that many of that one particular item. Once our systems get going here and we're producing, wait till you guys see, I mean, literally mass amounts, those 409,000 storage units will get filled up in just a couple of days of playing, if we ever get that far. <laughs> I'll just be happy to fill up, you know, if I get uh, 25,000 reinforced ingots like I had on the previous server, I, I'd be ecstatic. Because you guys know if you play a on how much they'll stink to make. So uh, that covers the transportation items of the item ducts and the output duct into an item. Um, where can you, let's talk about this real quick so I know you might have some questions. The item ducts can go uh, on top, on the sides, or underneath. Same as the output ducts. As long as they connect right to a chest, it's perfectly fine. Could I have split one output duct into two different chests? In other words, put the output duct down, the cobblestone generator above it, and then the two chests side by side. I did not test that configuration. Um, I don't believe so because it says you can have eight different inventories coming into it. And so, well, I'll tell you what, here, let's try this. Let's, do we have another chest? Let's just do this. Let's just pull one of these chests for the moment. And we'll grab it and we'll confirm. But I'm willing to bet that the answer is no, but let's find out. So it's still going into that one. I'd have to pop in a creative mode to fill that up and I don't want to do that. Uh, can we move this stuff over to at least help speed up this process? Now, it's going to be a long time. Clearly, you can see it's going to take a while before that were filled up. Let's look at this. Okay, well, maybe it can then. I was going to assume that it wouldn't. But by the looks of this, because now there's two inventories attached to it. So it's two inventories attached to the output duct. I thought it was from where it pulled from. Well, then I'm not quite sure how you could get eight attached to this since there's only six sides to an output duct. So that's that's what's a little confusing. That's why I'm like, well, hold on a second. How could we have eight different storage places going to it when there's only six possible connecting points? You got me. There's got to be something else that we're missing. So I'll let this run. And if by some chance, uh, oh, it must be nighttime again. Yep, it's my time. Okay. I'll let this run, and when we come back for the next episode, if by some chance the second chest here is filled up, you know, then we'll tell you. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. So thanks, guys, for watching this short little episode about the item and output ducts. This is a quick and easy way to create item transportation until we get the networks actually put together. Uh, this would never work for what we want to do for storage, short and long term. There's going to be probably five, well, for sure four major storage networks on the base. One is going to be for uh, dust systems and going through that whole process. Another one is going to be for the ingot storage. 
Although there's a way to tie the two together without overlapping and taking the other channels, and we'll show you that that I've created. There's going to be one for our mass storage, meaning the insane amount of items that we're going to generate when we shut other items off. Uh, and then just our general storage area. We're probably going to put together somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand, maybe, barrels, give or take a little bit. And I mean vanilla barrels. We might change that to double chest. We'll see. The vanilla barrels look really cool, though. So we're going to wrap up here. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But as always, when we're playing Minecraft, you got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.